After 18 years of serving the Red Cross Society as a Secretary General, Abbas Kulet is set to retire from his post at the end of December 2019. I was born in a place called Morogashi in Garissa, for those who know the geography of this country. My forefathers were Somalis. My parents died when I was a child. I never lived to know them, to love them, to understand them, and to be with them. He vividly takes us back to 1973 when he was still youthful. His career has not been devoid of challenges, the most recent one being backlash from bloggers at the end of his tenure at the National Society. The society belongs to the members, the members are headed by this council who is here. So there's no blogger or anybody else. We are not yes to the both county government and national government, but we, we, are, we have our own constitution and nobody can tell us to do what's supposed to do. But you know you have bloggers who never know when to let go. You have bloggers who basically don't understand and who don't read, but who are in the business of being paid to write the rubbish they write. You know you can insult Abbas Gulet as much as you want, as much as you can. If there was an iota of truth in it, it'd be a different ballgame. But when you just write this and you take pleasure in insulting me, I sit back and laugh. And laugh. I don't lose one minute of sleep because my conscience is clear. I have run my race. I have diligently, dedicatedly served my country. And you know, it's there for one to see unless you are blind. As the head of the Kenya Red Cross, he will be remembered as one not to take a back seat when disaster strikes. During his tenure, he launched projects to supplement donor funding, the latest one being Switch TV. Global donor funding is dwindling. The world is changing. The old mechanisms are falling apart and there are new structures that need to be developed. Kenya Red Cross is actually an innovator and a leader in this field. Because by law, within our constitution, nothing stops us from doing business. The 60-year-old will be handing over to Dr. Asha Mohammed, who currently serves as his deputy in charge of programs and global fund. Those are very big shoes, uh, as you can imagine. Uh, but I also believe that, uh, also because we've all been working together, is that uh, I also know the organization as much. I was not the Secretary General, but I have been working with him as his deputy as well for many years. And... Um, more importantly, even for the bigger parties uh, in charge of the programs, which is really the bulk of the humanitarian sites. Dr. Abbas Goulet joined the organization when it was in a 35 million Kenya shillings debt and will leave the society with assets estimated to be of 100 million US dollars. Karoga Mwangi, Switch TV.